to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Old media and advertising, when you watch The Social Dilemma, I kept thinking, I love that I'm on radio. Because radio and TV, as much Ebro as, of course, it's based around advertising, guess what? It's obvious. We have commercial breaks, right? right? We are telling you that this is advertising. We don't go into the rest of your lives. Right, and that's the to difference. constantly grab you. This is, they now have well, you. Well, we're not, not as on, intrusive as what you're saying. Not only do they have you hooked on their products, and not only do they have your eyeballs, they know now that you are hooked and you need it. They can get you at all these different places yeah. and shape you. It's so because it's, it's walking with you everywhere. It's in the supermarket. It's, it's when you're in the bathroom on the toilet. It's calling it you. It got you. Yeah, you know what question you could ask you, bro? You want to do a good topic? They said this in the thing. They said the only question is, do you look at your phone before you pee in the morning or while you pee in the morning? Right. Because that's how fast people are grabbing the phone. Oh, yeah. People, first thing, The first thing you do when you wake up is grab your phone. Right. Crazy. See it, what we're you pookie. missed. We are pookie from New Jack Crack. City. Crack it's calling is. us. I'm still stuck on I want people to call up and tell me what face you chose. <laughs> <laughs> I think... They're I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> and then I want a photo to see if they did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you don't think people want to, they don't, people don't want to admit you chose a face? Because what's happening nah. to you, and this is happening to everybody, you're, you're taking your selfie, you're putting the filter on your selfie, and you're posting said selfie on your socials. You're repeating that process over an extended period of time to where you believe that that filter now is what you actually look like right now by the way people have done this for a long time it's called makeup yeah makeup's the filter makeup was the original filter where you put a face on and was like yo this is how smooth my skin is this is my eye brow shape this is my eye shape mm -hmm. you know dudes dudes same thing you know you put a beard on you covering up trying to get your line to shape your face <laughs> nice and right you know, if you get your eye dudes out here getting their eyebrows done, trying to get your face right mm -hmm. to fit a certain look. But the intrusive nature of social media has now created an atmosphere where not only do you forget what you actually look like and want to now, because of plastic surgery, go and get that look, mm -hmm. but you're competing with other people to make sure that your look gets the most likes and gets the most engagement and, and that gets the most and love. And those likes, I mean, we're talking about real dopamine hits. We're talking yeah. about real drugs. Facts. This, this gets you high. When you refresh and you're like, oh, my gosh, this got so many likes. That hit you get, that is real, and it keeps you coming back. Yeah. And it's based into the nature of who we are as human beings and how we want to interact with and be loved by other people. It's horrifying. And they also showed the direct correlation between the advent of social media and the rise in suicide among teens yeah, man. and young teens. Uh, we're talking now, about up 180%. What's Now, what's most horrifying? You said it's horrifying, Rosenberg. It's horrifying that something outside of you has that much control over you. Which part is most horrifying for you? I guess there's multiple levels. There's the, the fact that you're, we're so addicted to it. There's the fact that you're comparing yourself to so many other people in so many ways. Um, there's there's just so much. The fact that we learn how to be, we no longer know how to be social. Do you know dating is down? Kids aren't even dating the same way. How do you, they, don't, they don't even know how. What are you they don't know about? how to go out and meet people. They live here. You know well, how they, sad but, it is? But by the way, they did go on a date last night on a Zoom call, on a yeah. FaceTime, on when they was texting and sharing. That, that is a date. That's the date? That is the date. The date was over FaceTime. Yo, look, when we did uh, Laura Never Loses earlier, the first thing dude said is, yo, what's our IG page? That's right. I want to see who you are, what you about. Early. Yeah, people don't, ask, people don't ask for phone numbers anymore. They just be like, yo, what's your IG account? And then I DM you, and then we'll work it from yep. there. I can see what you're looking like early. How you live in. It's, it's your it's, job. It's, it's really Snap. deep, though. It's re and, and, and one other thing I thought that, that took me was that uh, this one guy who used to be a big guy at Facebook and Pinterest and a few places, he was saying... It's not often that great inventions that improve society are like 50% terrible. You know, he was like, when the bicycle was invented, it changed the world. 
But no one was out there like, guys, the bicycle's ruining people's lives. The bicycle, with all these people on bikes, you're not going to pay attention to your kids. You're not going to care about your wife. All you're going to do is think about the bike. Exactly. Yeah, of course, there's some natural built-in dangers, but it's not the same thing. Let's go to Keisha online, too. Did she fix her face? Is that what Keisha's saying? Keisha. Hello. Hey. Yeah. You're in the process of doing what now? Getting my face to look like my filter. Whoa. Stop the music. And now, why is this a process? Walk us through what you're doing to your face to make it look like your filter. Um, well, there's a particular filter that shortens your jawline, um, smooths out your skin, and they ask you when you go for a consultation or so, what do you want to look like? What are your What are your aspirations? What is Where do you want to go? So my picture that um, I post online with my filters is where I want to go. I'm a woman of a certain age, and it makes me look younger, so that's the goal that I'm going for. So I've added and, fillers and to my jawline. Okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I was actually about to ask you what you're about to express right now. What's the steps? Walk us through the steps of what you plan on doing. Well, they give you different options on what you want to do. So I've had a few chemical peels to soften out my skin, um, a few laser treatments to erase a lot of the blemishes, um, that I've just scarring from old pimples or things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've had laser, um, I've had fillers applied to my jawline to strengthen my jawline. Um, I've had liposuction done to my neck and chin um, to create a more sculpted look. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, and my goal is to look like my filter. And, and if I could open my eyes a little bit more, um, I, I would do that too, but it, the, the tissue underneath their eye is very, very thin and very, very soft. And once you start it, it just kind of creates more of an issue than than I want to go into. So now, I would like to. Are you concerned? Are you are you concerned at all, Keisha, in this process? Mm-hmm. Right, because um, none of us can beat time, gravity. Uh, any of these things how do you prevent yourself while you're trying to fight against time and you said you're a woman of a certain age are you concerned at all that like how do you know where the line is how do you know when you can't go anymore I guess when I can't go anymore Uh, I I mean you are you are competing with a uh, younger generation and they are constantly wait stop right know, there stop right there stop right there, stop competing right there competing for what what do you get, st- go back let's focus on that competing thing what are you competing in i just feel like you know as i'm as i'm as i'm aging i know back in the 80s it wasn't it was important to your physical appearance was so on i'm and it's like every minute you know there's another uh uh, you know, ontology play popping up. In. Oh man, we're losing this. They look like on the outside. Right. So you know, every, all my friends, every two minutes, oh, I'm going under the knife. Oh, I'm going Botox. Oh, I'm on, I'm over here. Oh, they have a you know a special with Botox over here, and um, you know, so it's just my my surroundings um, are, and unfortunately, not unfortunately, but a lot of my friends are are dancers. And, you know, I'm, I feel like, you know, I'm aging and they're not. It feels like they're not. And I want to keep up. I want to I don't want to be the ugly girl in the group. Mm. Wow. You know? So, so, I, so I your, fr- like your you friend know, circle, this is your and so this is really your friend circle. So it's it's your it's not even social media for you. It's literally the people you socialize with. Well, at, the people I socialize with are the people that I follow on Instagram. Right, These are the right, people right. that I interact with on Instagram, mm. you know? So if they're posting their pictures in and they're looking a certain type of way, I, I, when I post, I want to look a certain type of way, too. Mm. I don't, I don't want to go against it. I, I want to look a certain way. I'm, I'm, I'm an older woman that is getting, you know, getting are you up there, single? and screaming. Are, I'm you, not are you in a relationship? Things. No. Recently divorced after uh, twenty two so, years. So, uh, so, so I, let me I, ask I'm you this: do you, Did did that divorce shape some of this and create absolutely. some of this anxiety? A- absolutely, because twenty two years ago, when I was single, I um, you know, men were different. 
And now, you know, you know, I, I had a date the other day and the guy told me how many followers you got. He wants to know how many followers I have to even know if I'm even worthy of dating. Don't fall for that. Yeah, Bless that your that heart, means that Keisha. he's not worthy of dating. Yeah, the he's second, not worthy. Don't fall for that. The That's second disgusting. someone asks well, you I mean, that. Well, clearly, I, I didn't date him. But everything, you know, how do you meet people nowadays? Nowadays, you meet, you know, on these dating sites. And, what do you, what do, you, you do, know, do for a living? Keisha, what do you do for a living, Ma? What do you do for a living? A real estate agent. Real estate agent. That I mean, you're in a you're you know I know that's about money and there's a lot of uh, materialism it's in the look world. Good. Yeah, it's a, and and you're getting sales and people don't want to buy a house from you if you don't look a certain way. That you're in a whole Absolutely. world where I, I've heard a lot of women. You know, you got a few things happening that you probably need to before you go too far down this path, Keisha. I'm gonna just encourage you. I I'm gonna tell you how to live your life. You're gonna do what you want to do, but you gotta understand mm-hmm. the world you're operating in right now is a never-ending cycle of chasing something that will never fulfill your spirit as a human being. Facts. It's constantly depleting, no matter it's, it's what you do. It's taking from you as a human, right? So you got a job that is about how you look. You got friends that are about how you look. You just recently got a divorce from a guy for 22 years. I don't know what the basis and foundation of that relationship was, but just take a... Before you do go too far down this path, because I know people and I've seen people, they just keep getting surgery after surgery after surgery after surgery after surgery. And who are you pleasing? Because at a certain point, the people you think you're pleasing are going to start looking at you like you nuts. They're not going to. I want to please me. Are you sure? I want to look in the mirror and feel good about that. Are you sure? I'm, I'm absolutely sure. I mean, I'm, I'm not. As, I, I don't. I'm not afraid to go under the knife. That's yeah, but you that's said. Not the but question. you said. You that's said, right. Keisha. You said that when you said the basis for doing it, you talked about keeping up with. You your talked friends, about though. other people. You didn't talk about. I want to look good. Where where am I getting my inspiration from? I want to look good. I, my inspiration comes from where I see what I see. Okay. I think that looks good. I want that. Just for the record, though, I think it's important for ladies to know this. And, Keisha, we appreciate your honesty and transparency. So today. much. It's very, so very, much appreciate it. It's very giving. We appreciate it. But, man, I, I hope we get to a point where women can be okay aging again. Like, it looks Facts. nuts to me when I meet 45-year-old women who look uh, – in their pictures, they look 28. And you just know it's not who they are. And there are right. people out there – who would love you and appreciate you and think you're bad as a woman, like an actual aging, growing, normal human being. But focus on that for a second, Rosenberg, because women will say us dudes did that to them because so many dudes. Right. That was my next step. That's so many many dudes. Y'all not looking at the average plain Jane. Y'all looking at the one with the ultimate hip, the big booty, the flat stomach. But this is where I'm about to go, Keisha. This is where I'm about to go. Dudes that are also stuck in that are chasing something also. They're unfulfilled also. They're constantly chasing a younger woman to make themselves feel good about themselves. And they end up looking nuts too. I know society is more forgiving of a 60-year-old dude dating a 40-year-old woman. You know what I mean? I know there's a double standard there, but trust me when I tell you, right? These dudes that you are trying to please have flaws that it's just a vicious cycle of us all having flaws and we all need to stop because we're just doing harm to each other at this point i i get it i get it but it is what it is at this point you know my well i mean i'm is, I, know, I, i'm just i'm just hoping you don't start cutting on your eyelids out here and getting crazy oh, I, I never I, seen you before i don't know what you look like but <laughs> the story you telling us I, I right now it, sounds it, like you want to Listen, if it meant uh, I want to get my eyelids done, that is on the menu as well. But chill, Keisha. I, I, I gotta. I, it's it's not in a. You know, when when women do get enhancements, you know, sometimes people look barbified and unreal. You know, you have some celebrities that you can tell have gotten work done. I would like to think that I've done you know tasteful enhancements right. that one would not know. All right. Fair you know, enough. unless I, I shared and said, "Hey, I got this done. I got my boots." Have you seen a psychi- you know? Have you seen a psychiatrist? I think the healthiest people are in treatment. So you are. So yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Absolutely. All right. Good. Good deal. Well, good Stay luck. Stay on Keisha. top of Thank that, Keisha. Thank you for sharing. That's very, I appreciate very, y'all. 
very enlightening today. Thank you so much for that. And take care of yourself. You're welcome. And don't define yourself by don't define yourself by other people's standards.